you got to see this. The FDA approved a digestible computer, a microchip, first ever. Check out the details. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. What we've been talking about in several, several of the programs we've been talking in reference to technology and how quick it is advancing. But the FDA, the Federal Drug Administration, has just approved a digestible microchip. Yes, a digestible computer chip the size of a grain of sand. And so we're talking about this technology, Steve, mm -hmm. and saying, where, where, what's the end game yeah. with all of this? You know, a lot of people want to live longer and they want to live healthier, but we're going to explore this some more. I want you to see what they just approved and see how it works. Watch this. For Mashable, I'm Lauren Gorris. Medication typically only works if you take it like you're supposed to. So how can doctors make sure that happens? Think microchips. The FDA just approved the first digestible microchip for humans. Proteus Digital Health has created a chip that's safe to embed in a number of pharmaceuticals. It's a seriously tiny square of silicone about the size of a grain of sand. And there's no battery required because you're the battery. Stomach acid activates the magnesium and copper in the chip to produce slight voltage. The signals are transmitted to a wearable patch and from there to a cell phone. The sensor itself records the time of medication and the capsule's specific ID. The patch tracks things like heart rate, activity, and rest patterns. The patch is battery powered and good for about seven days. Proteus envisions this providing especially reliable feedback for those drugs that patients take for things like diabetes or chronic disease. And it could let doctors track their patients through a prescription to make sure they're getting the most out of that penicillin. Amazing. Listen, it's a chip that goes inside of the medicine into your body and then they'll be able to regulate it with an app and a technology. See how these things advancing? Mm -hmm. This is amazing, this technology. Well, it, it, to me, it's, it's, it's amazing how fast, as we've talked about in previous programs, how fast technology is advancing. You know, we're not aware of how it's affecting industries. And right now, you have you know, wearables that can monitor your heart rate and what's happening. And you're seeing now, it's just like, it's outside of you. Why not just put it inside of you? And you think about it, it's just like, you know, when you go on the internet and you, let's say you search for something on a website, you have all these different advertisements for the last two weeks and it knows everything about you. But if you were to go to the doctor six months from now, they don't know anything about you and they just want to, they want to track. Forget about it. Amazing. HIPAA. I mean, you know, yeah. forget the HIPAA laws. Right. Now they're going to be knowing everything about your health and not just you, but everyone yep. around the world. Yep. And so you're, you know, as this technology advances, the more you get to lose a sense of privacy. If you haven't noticed, you're on camera all the time, mm -hmm. you're being watched all the time, everything is just laid out in the open and there's no sense of privacy, of being alone or anything being guarded. And you, and you know, look at this, what is this quest that we're continually wanting to live longer, yeah. Listen, I'm for good health, don't get me wrong, and I, but I believe in divine health, you know? And, and God can heal us, and not, not against medicine, God uses doctors, but you gotta ask yourself, I mean, Hebrews 9.27 says that just as people are destined to die mm. once and then face the judgment, it's appointed mm. a time for us to die, which means mm. that one day you are going to die, yeah. you know? We're not going to live forever on this earth. Right. And I think we gotta start asking the question, why why do you want to stay alive? What like, is you your know, purpose for living? Yeah, what what are you doing with the time that you do have? You know, mm -hmm. is it I wanna play one more video game? I wanna you know, I wanna go to one more mm -hmm. fun thing. What type of impact and legacy, you know, are you leaving here on this earth? Because you are appointed to die and then, right. then you're gonna be with the Lord. That's right. And I think what's powerful, I can't remember who said it, but those who had the most impact on this life weren't living for this life in the first place. They were yeah. living for eternity, the next life. And it's just like as you're saying, we're, all, we're, we're gonna live forever. The question is, how much time are we gonna live in this life? Because after this life, it's eternity. And it, it matters that we're not wasting this life by focusing only on this and neglecting eternity. The Apostle Paul said that, is, that to be absent from, absent from the body is to be present That's with right. the Lord. You know, you shouldn't be afraid of dying. You should be afraid of dying before your time, dying yeah. and going to heaven, you know, empty with nothing. You know, mm -hmm. you want to run the race and you want to hear, well done, good, good and faithful, faithful servant. servant. You know, you've accomplished what God has called you to do because this really is, is a short amount of time. We get so focused about life on earth that we forget 
that we're going to be around for eternity. That's right. But what you do here in this life will affect what will happen in that life. Mm -hmm. And so, but with this technology, this, this, this stirs up, you know, it makes me want to think about Revelation 13. Mm -hmm. You know, in fact, we have those, those up. And Steve, I want you to read it mm -hmm. because this is a microchip, yep. you know, and many believe that, that this chip that Revelation 13 talks about, it doesn't talk about the, the chip, it talks about the mark of the beast, could literally come in a chip and it's going to be, mm -hmm. in, you know, injected in the skin and the forehead. Mm -hmm. But I want you to read what the scriptures say. It says, Then I saw a second beast. It made the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast. And it performed great signs, even causing fire to come down from heaven to the earth in f full view of the people. It deceived the inhabitants of the earth. It ordered them to set up an image in honor of the beast who was wounded by the sword and yet lived. The second beast was given power to give breath to the image of the first beast so that the image could speak and cause all who refused to worship the image to be killed. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. That number is 666. Revelation 13, 11 through 18. But listen, it says, you cannot buy or sell unless you have the mark. Mm -hmm. And this mark is, is, is it's an economy. It's, yep. it, it's a beast economy. And look at how much uh, the economy and the healthcare, they're just all being intertwined. Right. You know, they're even linking the tax reform to the, the healthcare. It's like, wait a minute, what's going on here? As you have to be, you have to be aware, we are so, so close uh, to, this, to this mm -hmm. mark. In fact, they have some of these chips already that they're injecting in people's hands and right. using them as a, a a key to unlock mm -hmm. doors, to access different, um, you know, uh, areas, and even, yeah. I think, even to pay for things right. as well. We, we've actually talked, talked in the program a few times where you had someone was the first person to actually pay for something in... Um, was it Europe? Uh, it was a, a plane. It was through, through an airport that they used a chip that was in their hand. And, you know, we don't think much about it, but not too many years ago, it was normal to have cash all the time. Now when you see someone pay with cash, it's almost unthinkable because it's like, oh, I have, a, I have a credit card. Money has become ones and zeros. It's just a transference through a computer. Now it's just like, we don't even need that. Just scan my chip. And it's Listen, scary. these times require wisdom. Don't take mm -hmm. any chips. That's what I would say. Don't take any <laughs> nope, chips. don't take it. You know, trust God for the healing. Believe God for the healing. And listen, run the race. Do, you know, run as hard as you can now and do all that you can in the life that you have left. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.